17-year-old Diana Flores felt like a lot of confused teens. Isolated from teachers and friends, her circle of support shrunk. It was definitely an adjustment, not just for those big conversations, but for the little conversations as well. Daily doses of human connection vanished from students' lives. Many said their mental health suffered along with it. Winters Mill High School principal Michael Brown noticed mental health was a growing issue even before the pandemic hit. We realized the big problem in mental health and how it's been attacking our teens. So we really rallied around and decided to tackle it together as a school. Two years ago, the school formed Falcons of Strength. About 50 members strong, the students are trained to address mental health issues and support their peers, providing resources and friendship to those struggling. A group now more important than ever. Students who may not be in a group, they know your faces and they can come to you with confidence. Is, is that how it works? People that might not have someone directly at home to turn to might recognize us, might know that we could connect them to someone that they might be able to talk to or just kind of be a friend to them. You know, I, I'm a parent, and I would hope that my kids know that they could come and they could talk to me. But I was a kid. I know how it is. Why do you think it's important to have a program like this where students can talk to each other? Because I feel like a lot of students, they would be a lot more comfortable opening up to students. A lot of kids will find it um, kind of scary almost to talk to adults. During the pandemic, Winters Mill was forced to switch to remote learning. All athletics and even prom were canceled. Students struggled with the new norm. Diana and the Falcons of Strength asked the student body and faculty to share positive messages. Hundreds rose to the challenge. A lot of messages that came out, we wanted things in different languages as well. A lot of other messages were famous quotes. But addressing mental health isn't always easy and often comes with a stigma. Less than 14% of school-aged children received any mental health treatment in the past year. Many experts are urging schools to prioritize mental health education for kids. I don't think that we can fully expect uh, young people to be successful um, in their academic achievement if we don't address the social and emotional factors that we know impacts their ability to achieve. Members of Falcons of Strength say the program is making an impact on students. Guys, raise your hand if you have seen this program, Falcons of Strength, make a difference at your school. Can somebody speak to the kind of atmosphere that you guys were trying to create in your high school? I feel like this, this program has had many impacts, like positive impacts on kids' life. It has helped them through a lot. Like, just like the positive, that energy that we give out to them, it's great. <laughs> the Falcons of Strength don't judge, they listen and reassure those struggling. There is work to be done for our future generations. We have to let these people know that it's okay to talk about mental health. It's okay to speak on what you are going through. Such good kids, Falcons of Strength's mantra is hope. Health and strength is something the club at Winters Mill High School is definitely living up to this morning. And for the school year, we have Morgan Radford there with us this morning. And you were with some of those kids. Good morning. Good morning, Chanel. That's right. We are standing in a judgment-free zone. This is all about health and happiness and hope. And I want you to hear from the students themselves because what they're doing is so important. This is senior Diana Flores. And Diana, you are a student leader here in this group. Explain to people, what are you hearing when you call your peers? What are they struggling with most? You know, we've been in virtual learning since March. A lot of students are feeling anxious, sad, alone. Uh, our FaceTime calls, our texting, it's not the same as our in-person connections. We just, we miss our friends. And I can only imagine because this is anything but a normal learning environment. I want to also introduce you all to Connor Doyle. He's a junior, also a student leader. Connor, what are some tips you share with your peers when they're struggling? I think just to remember that there is a place for you that 
there are people that want to talk to you and that want to be your friend and I think that this club is a really way to show that and it really helped me when I was getting into it and now I have the chance to help those kids too and I really appreciate it. And I mean you're already making such a difference. All of the students here behind me are part of this club and we also have their principal, Michael Brown, who's been motivating them and you know, people are watching us all over the country, not just for your students but for teens across America. What advice would you give them, especially as they're struggling and they're virtual learning? I would say to them that, you know, love is real. It's, it's an action where you can see all the students here. We realize that when we go to high school, we can't do it by ourselves. We can't do it alone, but there are adults and there are kids all around you that can you through whatever you're struggling with. Oh, well, I think the message you hear here today is that, you know, you can't do it alone. And so we are so impressed by the things that you've been doing that we want to help. And also, the nice folks over at the Chan Zuckerberg Initiative heard what was happening. They heard about the work you were doing. They also heard about some of the connectivity issues you were having. So we have a surprise for you this morning. The Chan Zuckerberg Initiative is donating webcams and Wi-Fi hotspots to everyone in the school. Can you imagine? So you guys will be able to do all your work. The team over at Headspace also heard about you. They heard about the difference you're making in your community, so they decided to give you one free year-long subscription to Headspace so you can have the resources that you need for your mental health, and that's for all 1,100 students. So this is a big day to honor all the good work you've been doing. How do you feel, Diana? I really can't believe all of the amazing things that we just received, you guys. It's amazing. So thank you so much. Chanel, thank you for telling their story because this is unlike anything guys. Absolutely. It's a program they say it should be implemented all around the country mm -hmm. right, to talk to our kids. Great. And, and Great let's job. keep it going. Let's keep yes. the love going because we couldn't have all of the kids and everybody yes. involved in the program out there. So we were like, you know what? How about virtual? It's very 2020. Here's more of the participants. Bye, guys. We saw a lot of happy faces on this board when it was just announced, um, you know, all of the gifts that are coming their way. Cassidy Loya is one of the peer facilitators. Cassidy, can we talk to you for a second? What has this program meant to you, honey? Okay, so I think the program really, it's helped create a sense of community within the school and a sense of connection, um, really reducing the stigma of mental health. Uh, certainly since my freshman year, I'm a senior now, I've seen a huge change in like student opinion about mental health. Do you feel bonded more with your classmates? Does it kind of change the dynamic of your relationships? Absolutely. So we have certain programs where the whole school will participate and then we'll have um, like visual reminders of the whole school participating, like everyone contributes something. And since you don't really see everyone every day, that's a really nice reminder of just that we're all a part of the school community. We're all here. We all share some of the same experiences. Yeah, great. Cassidy, I hear you have a future in social work, so you're you're already well on your way. We want to say thank you to the students and yeah. teachers for sharing more about this wonderful program. It's doing a lot of good and hope maybe it'll catch on. You know, there's obviously so much awfulness that's happening, but every time we feature like a young person like we see, I'm so hopeful. Yeah. I mean, the so children, and it's, it's, yeah. And also, this mental health issue at this age, you know, in my own exploration of my own mental health issues and anxiety in particular, there's a direct path that goes right back to junior high and high school. Adults don't think that young people have earned the stress equity to, to yeah. have anxiety. That's not right. true. So yeah. this is a great so program. Important. We should also mention we have a special collaboration um, with the Chan Zuckerberg Initiative. And we've launched a new section on our website. So if you're watching at home and you perhaps want to talk with your own teenager, we have learning guides for students really of all ages. So you can check that out at today.com slash parents. All right. Great Thanks, story everybody. Stuff. Yeah. Thanks to Morgan, too, for that. And goodbye, kids. Uh, Get to school. Bye, guys. Yes. Uh, <laughs>